Hello, everybody out there in Facebook, Instagram, MySpace, YouTube, everybody out here. Um, I pretty much want to talk to you uh, today about uh, TMH Comics, uh, which stands for True Man of Honor Comics. Um, we are in production right now as we speak, trying to finish up uh, our first issue. Um, so hopefully we'll have it done by the end of this year and we can put it out. 2017 but those of us uh those of you out here that already know about uh tmh comics and true man of honor comic book and all that we were supposed to uh actually have had it done and released um on the 22nd of november and that didn't happen uh we were backed up on production with a lot of stuff um so now that we've got a few of the kinks out of the way we're trying to hurry up and get everything together so we can start um, putting it out digitally online first. And then once we get that done, we want to go ahead and get the, the books printed. Um, and since we're on the East Coast, Southeast Coast, uh, we're going to go ahead and start hitting up our city first, which is Atlanta. Um, and trying to hit every bookstore we possibly can uh, to get the story out to you and those that love comic books and superheroes and villains and um, a great storyline, so we definitely want to get that um, that process done and, and going. So anyway, let me talk to you about, first of all, about how this whole situation got started. Okay, <clears throat> my name is, is, is Terrence, or a lot of people call me T, or T. Michaels, as a nickname um, that I acquired uh, doing music. So I started doing music um, in my hometown, of Georgia, and uh, ever since then, I've done some things on radio here, I've done some things um, nationally, uh, a couple of songs on certain things, a couple of placements and stuff like that, so I've really been into the writing my whole life, creative writing, um, stories, short stories, things like that, I've always done, I've always done that, and um, so now um, I want to try something new. Um, and actually kind of bring those two worlds together, the creative writing, the songwriting, and um, and this is what I've come up with. I've come up with TMH Comics. Uh, we actually, this is our website here. You can go to tmhcomics.com and uh, check us out. We're still building the website. We're still adding on uh, daily as we get things situated. But um, So yeah, I decided to bring those two together. How it all started was I was working on a film, uh, doing music for a film. And the music I was working on, of course, you know, you do a lot of songs and then you kind of pick the ones that you think is going to be best. And then you get them to to the director to hear them and they pick and choose what they want, stuff like that. So as I was working on the songs for this film, I started working on songs, period. I was like, OK, I can't really create just the music um, specifically for the film. I mean, even though I have to, but let me just create music, period. And so that's what started the whole situation. So I got up to maybe about like 13 songs. Um, and he was, you know, the, the director, they were only asking for at least five. But I had gotten up to 13 songs and I started listening to these songs. And all of a sudden I started having visions of a story. So as I'm as I'm creating this music, I'm writing the story um, by ear, so to speak. Right. So I get that done, and then I start writing the story out on paper as I'm listening to the soundtrack. As all that stuff gets done, I have a soundtrack for a comic book that has not yet been developed. So what I did first was I took the songs and made a soundtrack, an original soundtrack, which consists of 21 records. So I got that done. I put it out on iTunes, put it out on YouTube, which is actually, if you like, you can go purchase it now for those that like um, classical music. It's a mix of classical. It's a mix of hybrid. It's a mix of uh, uh, R&B, um, a little bit of you know R&B hip hop flavor too. But it's it's mainly the first thirteen songs. They actually go along with the story of the first issue. So. It's called True Man of Honor. It's the original soundtrack. It's on CD Baby, iTunes, Google Play, anywhere you can find music. So I get that done, right? We get that done. Then I go hook up uh, 
with some artist people I know. You know, I called my illustrator. We got to talking, and all this is had this all this started uh, back in July of 2015. But then we started working on the comic book, or just getting the brainstorming of it done, uh, November of 2015. So this is where we are today. Um, hopefully soon we'll be dropping the first issue, which is what, this is the comic book cover. This won't, there'll also be a variant, but this right here is a, the, uh, the first issue cover. Um, so we'll be dropping that. And then as you scroll down on the website, you can actually read the first 10 pages, which as you can see right here, take a look at that. These are the first 10 pages. so basically that's that that is it and also let me show you this too you can also come over here you can subscribe to uh the website and with your subscriptions i'll be able to set up your emails and um just notify you anytime anything you know gets done or we make changes or anything you know we have to do um, you can also come take a look at the character side of things um, so you can get to know each character from the comic book. Let me show you this right here. This is Jason George here. This is what he looks like in his, uh, his superhero outfit. Some of the characters here. Look at all that. This process has taken uh, a minute to really get done, man. Like, it's really... It's really a process. It's it, to me, it's kind of like um, because this is my first time actually doing this. To me, it's kind of like creating a movie. Um, even though certain movies you might be on set for maybe three to six months, depending on the type of movie you're creating. But uh, to me, that's what it it kind of it kind of feels like because you you're cr creating a story, you're getting with a director slash illustrator slash producer, uh, you know the whole thing, and 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 you're putting all this together uh, some people can get done with a book within a week to two weeks but with this situation here it was so many characters and so many stories to tell from just this one story that I had to actually break everything down um, script by script issue by issue um, and actually it went from being a 21 page comic to turning into almost a graphic well really a graphic novel I say almost but really a graphic novel so this is where we are. But also, too, let me show you this as well before I forget. We also have tees, T-shirts that we are um, that we sell. You can actually go online and purchase the TMH comic T-shirt, True Men of Honor. This is a Jason Jason George uh, T-shirt. Uh, let me see. Let me show you some other ones here. We got the TMH Comics uh, hoodie. You get that. Um... And these are these are the ones I like. These are the True Men of Honor short sleeve brown logo, uh, and I actually we have a, a white one too. I, I didn't put it up, but oh, I'm sorry, it's not the right one. We have a white one too that I didn't put up. But if you but as you can tell, like if you go back to the characters, right, and you go look at Jason, Jason is actually wearing the shirt. He's wearing the white one, the white version of it. So. We have those. Also, what we're going to have uh, later on down the line, and we hope we can get it together. Let me show you. It's, uh, uh, hold on. Let's see. Let me show you this right here. This is Jason as an action figure that we're working on. So we have a, it's, it's a lot of stuff coming, so hopefully you guys can can go check it out, come to the website, take a look at it, um, and see what we're trying to do here and what we're doing, man. We, we've been growing for the past year, and we hope to continue to grow. We hope to continue to get subscribers. We hope that you guys uh, really dig the story, man, because I've really, I've really sat down and I've really, you know, put my all into it, um, and so has the, the illustrator. So we really hope you guys love the artwork. We really hope you're going to love the storyline. Um... Uh, I mean, I look at it as it's, it's, a, it's as original as it can get. I mean, I've <laughs> I've read a lot of 
comic books. And I don't I don't really think I'm hoping I, mean, I could be wrong, but I really think that this is um, definitely an original story that I hope you guys will start growing into because it's an origin story right here. This is the this is the first issue, and I didn't want to go back. Like normally, like if you watch a a TV show, a superhero TV show, a superhero movie and stuff, sometimes they go back. For, well, sometimes they're in the present, and then as they go along, they go back to the beginning. And I didn't want that. I wanted you to see everything from beginning to end. Like even with Star Wars, like I didn't know until you know later on as I got older that Star Wars, uh, the first three episodes or issues that uh, George Lucas did is actually backwards. You know what I'm saying? Like, we actually go backwards in the story, so. But I wanted you guys to get the origin and the originality uh, first. Just the beginning of everything, and then we'll continue to go on from there uh, if you guys really dig it. But, um, but yeah, so, um, basically, this story develops about a, a young teenager. I don't want to give the, the whole story away, but it's about a young uh, boy who grows up without his parents. Um, and he's learning how to cope with the loss of his mother. And then he's learning how to cope with who he is and who he's supposed to become. Uh, and he has all these demons and well, not really demons, but I, I want to say issues. He has a lot of issues that most teenagers deal with as they, as they grow up, especially if you grow up in a, in a home without both parents or you grow up in a single family home or you don't grow up in a home at all and you're actually growing up uh, in an adoption agency or an orphanage, which is uh, the character Jason. He has to grow up in this situation because he know, he doesn't know who his parents are. So he's being raised uh, by a friend of the family, but he's also being raised by himself. Uh, and he also raises himself. So he has to, he has to kind of come into his own and he has to learn right from wrong. He has to, uh, just figure things out in general uh, by himself. So I don't want to give away the whole story, but I just want to give you a little bit of and show you online what's going on and where we are. So I'm, what I'm hoping is uh, after the new year, uh, I'll be able to put this out online for you guys. And I'll, like I said, if you subscribe to the channel, I'll be able to give you updates. I'll be able to email you and say, hey, guys, look, uh, it's online here, here and here. And you guys can download it, um, you know, and all that. Also, too, uh, I'm, we're getting ready to do a, um, a short Kickstarter shortly. Um, so if you're able to do that, uh, I'll definitely let you know about that, too. But if you're able to get on Kickstarter to do that, you'll actually get it, get the book before anybody else will get it. Because we're going to put out the Kickstarter stuff first. And then to everybody who donated and who uh, who helped us out, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it out online. I don't want to put it out online first and let other people get it before you guys get it. If you if you actually do the Kickstarter, so I'll be letting you guys know about that. But you can go to tmhcomics.com website. You can also go on Facebook if you have a Facebook. You can find us at TMH Comics on Facebook as well. So I don't want to keep you guys. Just wanted to hit you up. Uh, hit me back. Subscribe. Comment, whatever you want to do, man. All right? Talk to you guys later. Appreciate it. Bye.